A young child loses his testicle because an emergency room fails to timely diagnose his testicular torsion. Come join me as I share with you exactly what happened here. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law in the state of New York. I'm here in Baltimore, Maryland for a conference and I have a few minutes to share this great information with you. So now, this young child develops pain in his groin and he tells his mom and his mom sits around and waits, calls the doctor and says, listen, my son's having groin pain. What should I do? He says, take a bath. So that's exactly what happens. Takes a bath. But now after the bath, the kid still has groin pain and it's getting worse and worse. So finally she says, you know what, I'm just going to take him to the emergency room. In the emergency room, he now gets evaluated by the pediatricians. In the emergency room, they're looking at him and they're deciding, you know what, we don't need to get a surgery consult yet. Let's go ahead and watch him. That's what they do. They're watching him do absolutely nothing. Finally, his pain gets so bad that they give him medication to ease his pain. But the problem is, now that they are diminishing the pain, he's no longer complaining. So that's delaying things even further. It turns out what they should have done is that they should have gotten an ultrasound of his testicle. Because what was really going on was that his testicle was twisting upon itself. And that's a condition known as testicular torsion. And I will tell you, and the doctors have told me, that if the testicle is not untwisted within an appropriate time period, it will cut off the blood supply. So that now when they finally diagnose it, it might be too late because that window of opportunity may be gone and the testicle will have died off. So once that blood supply is gone and you are trying to untwist it, once it's gone, it's finished. It becomes necrotic and you have no choice but to surgically remove that particular problem. And that's exactly what happened in this case. The hospital failed to call in a urologist. They failed to call in a pediatric urologist. And as a result of that, by the time they actually got a colored Doppler flow to see whether or not there was blood flow in the testicle, it was already too late. And when they made the diagnosis, this child's testicle was long gone. Their window of opportunity was out the window, and unfortunately, this child's testicle died, and they need to go in and surgically remove it. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding into one case that I handled involving a young child that this condition was entirely preventable had the doctors not violated the basic standards of medical care. You know, I realize you're watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.